Hi everyone, it's Nina at Franklin Park Conservatory. I'm here today to show you one of our butterflies. This is one of our African butterflies. It comes from East Africa, so com countries like Kenya and Tanzania, uh, way over there on the East Coast. Uh, the Shiraxis butterflies, again, they're members of the brushfoot family. We've talked about that in some of our previous videos. And they're really neat butterflies because they have very thick, strong wings. They're a very sturdy butterfly, strong, and uh, able to fly very quickly. So these are some of the fastest butterflies in the world. Sometimes people ask me how fast butterflies uh, can fly, and apparently they have been clocked going as slow as 5 miles an hour and as fast as 35 miles an hour. Not sure what these guys have been clocked in at, but I do know that when I release them into the Pacific Island Water Garden, which is our flight area here at Franklin Park, uh, they sometimes fly away so quickly you almost can't see them. This is a flame-bordered Chiraxis. I may have said that at the beginning of the video. It is a female, and I can tell you that because it has these uh, white stripes on the outsides of her wings. And uh, when she opens her wings, there's very beautiful markings. I'm hoping I can sort of tickle her uh, wing here and get her to open up, maybe. You don't want to touch a butterfly's wings a whole lot. They have millions of little scales on their wings, which are actually modified hairs. And those scales give the butterflies wing its rigidity. So just like an airplane, you need your wing to be a little bit rigid so that air can be moved up underneath it, over top of it, and you gain altitude that way and stay aloft. The more of those scales that are rubbed off of a butterfly's wings, uh, the weaker the wing becomes, it loses its rigidity, and a butterfly that is unable to fly can't get food it can't find mates, it's kind of grounded, as we would say. And that's why we avoid touching their wings. I'm really hoping she'll open up here. Maybe if I tickle her antenna. Oh, she's trying. Now you will see she's sort of vibrating. Sometimes butterflies do that to warm up. You'll see them vibrating in the morning. They are cold-blooded, so they don't have a circulatory system like we do to keep them warm. They need sunshine and movement, and they will, they will flutter like that. You can really see that, that fluttering that she's doing. All right, oh, I thought she might open up for us there. I don't wanna to touch her too much more. Sometimes they flutter like that when they're a little bit stressed out. There's that pretty inside. So I don't wanna stress this butterfly fly out anymore. She's ready to go. We're gonna let her out into the Pacific Island Water Garden and uh, we will see you with some more videos shortly. Thank you.